Okay, it is Thursday, October 28th, and a beautiful day here in the 60s in the uh, fall weather we are having. Um, sun just went in a minute ago, though, but I was walking in here with my mother earlier, and I uh, had my camera in my truck, so after I walked her out, I said, I got to go back in. Let's make a video. Uh, <laughs> So a couple of things I wanted to actually correct from my last video. Uh, stupid things. My new camera is not the DGI. <laughs> it's the DJI Pocket 2. Um, no! Not that big of a deal, but uh, when I played it back, I'm like, oops. <laughs> and uh, what else did I fuck up on? Um, oh, yeah, when I put the uh, Odyssey symbol up. When I was talking about bitch shooting LBRY. Yeah, wrong symbol. Duh. <laughs> Here's the correct one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, um, the uh, point that um, was most important in talking about my daughter and her boyfriend going to New York last week um, was clearly the environment that they um, had uh, experienced quite culture shock from where we are and then being treated like a leper saying you cannot come in here you are not good enough those are the lessons and bigger picture perceptions that once occur to you broaden your awareness as to what's actually going to fuck on here especially if you're on the path to awakening so the um car issue of her truck and the ferris bueller jokes um they were just some window dressing to make it funny because I found it funny. I don't think they found it funny at the time, but <laughs> I found it funny and um, clearly was not the point of the lesson. It was an experience they learned from, but the bigger lesson going on in the world so they could see what tyranny looks like was more of what I was referring to. Um, in case you couldn't figure that out, if you couldn't, you... Uh, should probably get your head examined, but whatever. Uh, that is uh, clearly the um, mindset of a lot of people, you know what I mean? That they really just want to look at the minutia of things. Because it's just an excuse not to have to deal with the actual problem itself which is the taking part in or ignoring uh, of immoral acts every day of our lives, which would be uh, many aspects of a person's uh, makeup during their day that they just don't want to look at and they don't want to think about. And uh, it's part of the awakening process. So. If I wasn't somewhat sometimes retarded and didn't make mistakes like I just did uh, and couldn't come on and correct them and make myself look stupid and laugh at it, well, then I would have an issue uh, admitting that I'm wrong, dealing with the fact that I'm wrong about something or made a mistake or look silly. These are things that people need to get over in the world. So when a life lesson comes your way, which my daughter has learned from it. I'm not talking about her or her boyfriend. They definitely see the bigger picture. I'm talking about people in general. When life lessons come our way, a lot of people tend to shy away from learning the lesson that comes from the experience. And that's why, again, you know, a lot of people are um, afraid to step into themselves, step into the truth and do the right thing in a room full of people who are not doing the right thing. They don't like to stand out. They don't want to be the nail that sits above the board. And um, unfortunately, that is um, how we're going to get out of this mess. It's going to take brave and courageous people to stand in the truth and say no right now in much smaller numbers than we would like. But let me tell you something. There are much larger numbers than they ever have been when uh, four years ago we were just talking about the coming of this thing now that it is actually 
in our face the uh, ratio of people waking up, although still small, and of course of those that are waking up, an even smaller ratio of those that understand the, two, the true core um, objectives that need to be reached in order to get ourselves out of this mess. A lot of people still falling into the dialectic instead of realizing that um, it is uh, you and I know this is uh, one big club and we ain't in it. The traditional raccoon salute. Woo! And uh, everyone from the current president to the last president to the president before and the president before and the president before have all lied. Yes, all been duped by everybody, 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 everybody. Get used to it, do a dance, everybody. You know, look in the mirror and realize, man, you know, this guy's fucking things up, but the guy before, he helped bring it in. Oh no, 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 it's 3D chess. And it was the people in the background that had uh, his balls in the noose. But this time in 2024, it's going to take back the power. All we got to do is wait for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wait for that. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, waiting is the hardest part. I'll, I'll sing my way out of it. Okay. Oh. Lord, we are... The only sane people on an insane planet, and uh, David Icke often says that, it is a great gift to be awake in a world that is asleep, but with that comes responsibility. He's got a uh, live presentation coming up soon that he's doing, um, which, you know, people that really want to see a bigger picture and have trouble connecting dots, but want to you know, um, really should take the time, watch an old 8, 10, 12 hour presentation of David Icke's, watch this new one coming, especially because he'll be talking about current events. But the reality of it is, there's no better person to connect dots or start you, I should say, on your path to connecting dots um, than people like him. Because talking about the totality of our circumstance and how it all connects, as he's been doing for decades, um, way before all of this manifested in the world. And then seeing things for yourself and then taking you down paths of understanding these connections, this aspect of science, whether it's epigenetics or virology or PCR, uh, to aspects of psychology, how this uh, thumb is held over the masses as described by him often as a uh, beach ball being held under the water. And uh, to keep that beach ball under there, you have to constantly hold it. Because the minute you let it go, it goes back to its natural state above the water. And uh, I think it's a great, uh, you know, comparison in order to get a point across because people don't realize how easy this is. It's the difficulty of it is, is accepting it. <laughs> because it's easy to see, is what I meant to say there. How easy this is to see, the difficulty is, is in accepting it. Because with that comes responsibility. That is the, um, the mental state people put themselves in due to cowardice. Not even so much that they uh, can't comprehend what's happening. It's because the amount of cowardice that sits within them can't even tell their boss to go fuck themselves when he's being an asshole. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, let alone to tell a tyrannical government who, uh, you know, is claiming ownership over your body, your earnings, your labor, your property soon, everything, your ability to uh, uh, trade commerce, to partake in society, all these things. Um, is a little bit more scarier to stand up to. And again, because people hold on to this um, uh, illusion that what they have is actually theirs. You know, once you, you lose that um, um, illusory state of, of uh, you know, feeling like you have something to lose and realize that you came here to stand for freedom, 
and all the other stuff is just noise that this um, worldwide uh, occurrence that's happening in our face is why at a soul level you are here it's to say no to this to not allow this to happen to this species that you are experiencing called uh, human life because uh, at your core realizing the aspect of um, uh, consciousness that you are eternal consciousness that um, goes on forever after this and understanding that yes this can be studied and learned and and uh, you know um, reasoned to uh, to to uh, understanding through reason using reason and logic and study and research and science and religion and history and uh, you know all the other writings culturally that exist all over the world and comparing them to various aspects of current researchers and current research current findings current knowing current scientific news that uh, people have no clue are real that they uh, were right off to a Star Trek episode and uh, learn how incredible we are you know um, individually and collectively you know um, then and only then can one start to realize that the fear of death is a joke when you realize there is no death. And the only thing that you can be sure of, of the entire existence on this planet, of what your experience will be, is that you are going to die. <laughs> um, everything else is choice, happenstance, choice, consequence, happenstance, choice, consequence, happenstance, choice, you know, and it keeps repeating as life comes at you. And whether we learn from those choices or not is up to us. And of course, whether we begin to spiritually learn from the, those experiences is uh, what we then start to call awakening to the world around us, to our behavior, to how our thoughts and our feelings make up our daily behaviors and to discover yourself what foundationally lies at the um, um, floor of those thoughts and feelings. And if they are based in fear and trauma and loss and survival and doubt and depression, you know, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-respect, lack of courage, lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. If that's all there, well, then you need to start building that foundation better. And no one can do that for you. People can talk about it and tell you how amazing it is and how clear things become and how, you know, uh, all these new age concepts. And then, of course, a lot of them will leave out the rest. They still think someone's just going to save us or the world is going to magically change by blissfully running around going, hello, everybody. Um, it's not how it's going to work. Um, again, people are, are given the truth and spoon fed it with a little bit of poison in there that then negates the entire concept of that truth and psychologically will put people in uh, mindsets of stand down, um, you know, external um, uh, heroes, uh, you know, whether they're divine or political or, uh, you know, conceptual or uh, of an alien race or whatever the hell people tell themselves. Um, this is going to happen to come fix everything here instead of people actually stepping into their own thoughts and feelings and behavior and, and, and and realizing how or if it's contributing or ignoring or becoming apathetic about what's going on in the world and then changing that into actually taking action in saying no and not complying with our own enslavement and then encouraging others to do so by our own actions and knowledge and wisdom disseminated to them. But most importantly, by the example you set in the world when you do that. So, you know, this is the point that um, we as that example who have been doing this in the world and especially from the very beginning um, are going to be most needed because so many people are going to be in stand down mode so many people are going to be in modes of fear lack survival depression anger um, ready to fall for the dialectic ready to point that finger at somebody else and then not give a fuck about what happens to them because they're the reason and then not realizing in the end when that group is gone guess what they're coming for you <laughs> because um that's what this is all about so the reality of it is the um chance to get ready and get some resources and still bring in and collect some bags of rice, canned food, even if you can't afford those big hundreds of dollars of survival foods. You can buy big 
40 pounds of rice. You can buy cans of food every time you go shopping for an extra couple of dollars while you still can. Start storing that stuff because the um, reality of it is there is no community in order to um, exist among while they begin to shut us all out of uh, society. Then um, how do we plan on surviving, you know? And that community needs to um, um, not be thought of as one-way thinkers. In other words, the core aspect of losing freedom and uh, becoming enslaved to the point where you do not have uh, the right to free travel, free thought, uh, autonomy over your own body, your choices, um, is what we need to come behind. Not how many people have had one, uh, you know, miracle jab or two, or believed it for this long and changed their mind, or is a shill, we think he's a shill, or, you know, uh, isn't sure if the earth is flat or round, um, you know, and whether they fell for the flat earth sigh up or not, and now they're saying this, so we can't believe them, or if he believes in reptilians, so we can't believe all the other things he says, and all the things people fucking sit, the minutia of nonsense that people um, use to keep this quote-unquote truth slash freedom community divided that we do to ourselves is retarded. It's ridiculous. Yeah! And there must come a point where all that shit gets put aside and we realize the core aspect of uh, keeping autonomy over our own body and choices in mind is what this is all about. And no one has the right to shut other people out of society starve them out or to demonize them or to, to uh, you know, treat them as lesser beings uh, because of that choice. It's common fucking sense. It's like history 101, you fucking retards. You know what I mean? Like uh, those that are thinking that way and can't see this is what's happening. This is what my daughter and her boyfriend saw at every door that had, uh, you know, every restaurant door in New York and store door in New York, you know. And, um, to stand there and realize you are not allowed in, you are cast out, you are the unwashed, you are unwelcome, um, is something that, like I've said, every race, religion, um, you know, uh, uh, denomination of, of anything deemed different during uh, you know, any particular time in history, now, then, later, before, in the future, in the past, uh, it's all been done. Haven't we learned this yet? You know what I mean? That this is not... Um, um, uh, proper, and this is not uh, acceptable. And I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. You've come to fight as free men. And free men you are. What will you do without freedom? Will you fight? Right? Against that? No! We will run! And we will live. Alright? Fight and you may die. Run and you'll live. At least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> Just going to allow our fears to um, divide into another subspecies of uh, us and them that uh, one uh, group feels they can um, inferiorly uh, judge others while they see themselves as superior. Not even in the elite class anymore. We're talking a bunch of dodo birds walking around, the tar dodo birds walking around the general population. Once again, being led, brainwashed, mind controlled, duped, and, 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 and psychologically steered into falling for the same banana in the fucking tailpipe. Again, just we didn't pick a religion or a race or a sexual preference or a political choice this time, you know. 
um, or any kind of uh, label. We didn't pick that. We picked, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, current decision of uh, whether or not you have uh, chosen to hold on to the autonomy over your own choices of what you put in your body or not, you know? Because, yeah, we have the right to tell other people what they can do, right? <laughs> Ooh. I thought I felt it. I should have backed up uh, there. Uh, right? You know, because that makes sense, right? You know, not only are we moving into just judging people because they're different, now we're moving into, oh, yeah, well, I get to tell you what you should do with your body. And if you don't, I get to treat you differently, right? But I am moral and superior because I have a no bigotry bumper sticker on my fucking car. <laughs> yeah, virtue signaling fucks, you know? So, a um, little bit of a rant there, I guess. <laughs> but why not? Oh man, stole my hair. Uh, why not, you know? Righteous anger needs to be displayed, particularly, of course, at a time of uh, encroachment, whether it's right in that moment physically, or uh, philosophically um, speaking as to what's going on in the collective. Um, yet, like I said, we uh, don't need to dwell in those states because then that leads to depression, anxiety, you know, lack of self-confidence, lack of respect for others who may come out of this yet still. Um, we don't know, you know, uh, a lot of judgment, of course, going on. And some rightfully so, you know, uh, much of it not, you know, and uh, we need to support one another. We need to be the example for one another and the example to those that may um, at one day emulate our actions and join us, whether we're even still here or long gone, based on um, our own actions and uh, the planting of a seed that we didn't even know we planted for a total stranger, you know, just by our own actions. So, uh, and voice. So, you know, there is certainly no reason to hold your head down because this show, this really big show, is about to begin. Yeah, right, Mop Top, and I'm Ed Sullivan. <clears throat> really big shoe. No, no, I can do it better. Really big shoe. Really big. That's it. It is the greatest story ever told. They've dumbed up the script. <laughs> they've made it retarded and stupid, you know. Yes, they have. Uh, they've turned it into a Saturday Night Live skit meets, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon soap opera meets, you know, reality star, star fucking dumb TV show. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have. Lungs filling there again. To see again. Heart pumping, arteries surging, blood again. To feel half a million years. To be again. However, we're actually still in charge of the script because we actually do not sit back and watch this one. It's not in a, a, a flat screen box that we, that we uh, you know, sit and, and get mesmerized by. It's actually in the world, the 3D world that we live in, that we can change at any moment um, how that script goes, simply by our own actions around us and the larger aspects, the more and more people uh, in the collective, you know? And that's what we actually came here to do. So, you know, find your, your, your holding ground, find your standing ground as to what pulls you out of the uh, emotional aspects that we all go through when it comes to this bullshit. And then, you know, um, don't be afraid to utilize it. You can laugh, a lot of this shit is fucking stupid. You can be upset, a lot of this shit sucks. But stay focused as to what we're here to do and uh, attempt to analyze daily the emotions. That's what introspection, meditation, self-reflection is, you know. And then being in the moment of that moment, being consciously aware of your own behavior and attempting to police any behavior that you do not want to manifest yourself. And uh, changing and being aware enough to uh, behave the way you want to, whether that's speaking up, whether that's, you know, uh, doing something that is going to be visibly seen um, or just living your life and uh, keeping autonomy over your own damn choices 
um, throughout the day in front of anyone who's around you. Speak your mind, speak your voice. You hear the lie, speak the truth. Because the lie is spoken nonstop, repetitively, over and over and over and over and over. You know, where uh, now, you know, the, uh, the, the, the main aspect of how this is working is the playing of one psychological makeup, uh, disastrous makeup, uh, against mindset, against another, you know, and uh, using politics to duke it out, using, um, you know, uh, fear, using media, using um, the ignorance and apathy of people to understand not only themselves, but the world they live in. And um, it's affecting all of us who do understand this. And it's affecting our future, our children's future, um, to the point where the free life you have enjoyed, semi-free life that you have enjoyed, won't even be close to the life experience that they will have. So are we um, beaten down enough to say, well, my kids aren't worth it. The rest of my life isn't worth that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be here for that future, so fuck it. Or do we realize that we not only have a chance to change all of this, but oh yeah, it matters. What we do now matters on a soul level. That's what this cult that's running the world wants. It wants to own your soul. It wants to own the internal aspects of you so it can control the external aspects of your behavior like a slave master does to a slave so that that slave does not uh, rebel in any way uh, mentally so that they do not then express that uh, externally. <laughs> um, it is completely done through the mind, um, the mindset of a person's perception of who they are and what life is. And all of this information is out there to know, you know. Not that I'm trying to be on a mountaintop. I'm just trying to um, awaken people to the level of uh, awareness as to where we are. Food shortages. Uh, I actually, I forgot to put One Pacific's Redwoods link into my notes. I'll put it in uh, the other video when I get home and when I do this. Um, but, um, you know, another mistake, just stupidly made. No! But um, these times are real and um, we should be taking action to not only enact a plan B or have a plan B or be ready for, you know, a worst case scenario, but we shouldn't dwell in that state and we should continue to move forward and try to manifest the best case scenario while having no stake in either outcome except for knowing that your actions and your mindset is is coming from a, 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 a foundation of uh, objective morality and the knowing of what objective morality is, as we discuss many times, the act of not causing or initiating harm to another ascension being while reserving the right to defend yourself from those that would inflict harm upon or initiate harm upon you, uh, upon us. Um, the uh, do no harm, take no shit mindset, you know, that is natural law in and of itself, in a nutshell, that is woven into the fabric of our existence and the only way to pull ourselves out of this. So um, continuing to behave that way and know why you're doing it, why you're doing it, um, is what you came to do and I came to do. So we're just getting started. So smile, big smile, big smile. Big smile, big smile, big smile, big smile. Anyway, love you guys. Get learning, get speaking.
hear me?